Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Mr. Bean. Let's get started with the eyes. I'm going to start on the left side by drawing a circle. Starting from the top, we'll work our way down towards the bottom, and then back up towards the top. We're going to leave a gap in the center and draw the same thing on the right side. So lining up the top, come around to the bottom, and then back up towards the top. Let's add in the pupil. So I'm going to step up from the center and draw in a little circle. And we're going to color that in black. Let's do the same thing on the right. So in the middle, we're going to step up a little bit and draw in a circle. And then again, we're going to color that in black. Let's draw the eyebrow on the left side. So just above the eye, we're going to draw a curve that goes up and in. Starting on the top, we go up. And then we'll pull that down in the center. Now up here, there's a little oval. So we're going to start on the end of the line here, curving around, and pulling that back up to the top. We're going to color that in black. Let's do the same thing on the right side, but we're going to tuck this in on the edge of the eye here. So we're going to curve up and then out. Starting in the center of the eye, curving up to the same height, and then curving it out. We're going to draw that same oval on the top here. Starting from the edge of the line here, curving around, and then back up. We'll color that in black. We're going to take this line and continue down towards the tip of the nose. So right here we're going to curve in the opposite direction and come up. So right here we're going to round out the tip of the nose, come down towards the bottom, then up towards the left side. We're going to take this point and draw in the nostril. So we're going to draw like a C shape that comes up just underneath the eye. Let's draw the nostril on the right side. So right in here we're going to draw a reverse C, just tucked in behind the tip of the nose. Let's go ahead and add in some cheeks. So just underneath the left eye, we're going to start on the side here, we're going to curve around underneath the eye, and then pull it back around. So right here we're going to curve underneath the eye, and then just curl it back towards the left. We're going to do the same thing on the right side. So just down here, we're going to curve around the, the side of the nostril underneath the eye, and then out towards the cheek. So right here we're going to curve around underneath the eye, and then out towards the side. We're going to take this line and pull it back in underneath the chin down towards the neck, which we'll locate right about here. So we take this line, continue around, and then we'll pull it downwards towards the neck. Now right in here we're going to add the mouth. So on either side here, we're going to draw a little bracket, just touching the sides of the cheek. On either side. Now we're going to connect the centers with a curve for the mouth. Starting on the left, curve underneath the nose, then up on the right side. Just down below the mouth, we're going to draw the lip. So we're just drawing a curve from left to right, going down and then back up. On the right cheek here, we're going to add a little mole. We're going to draw a little circle, and we'll color that in black. Let's go back over towards the left side and draw on the side of the head here. So we're going to start just on the side of the cheek, right here. We're going to curve in, and now we're going to pull it down towards the neck, leaving a narrow space in between here. We're going to connect those two points with a curve for the collar. Let's go ahead and add in the big ear on this side. So from this point, we're going to step up, we draw a curve going out and then just pulling it in towards the bottom of the earlobe. So right up here we're going to go up and out, curl around, and we'll just tuck that in towards that point there. We draw a little swirl for the inner ear detail. So stepping down from here, curl around, and then right in here we're just going to pull this back in. Let's work our way around the hairline. So from this point we're just going to draw a little wave. We're going to go up towards the right and we'll pull that back in towards the left. Now we're going to draw the hairline going across towards the right. So we're going to draw a little wave. We're going to go up, down in the middle, up again on the right, and then down. So starting on the left, we'll go up, come down in the middle. Now we're going to go back up, and then come back down on the side of the head. From here we want to draw the profile edge of the head. So we're going to draw a curve that goes just beside the eye, down in towards the cheek. Starting up here, we're going to curve down, and then right in towards the cheek. Now let's take this ear and flip it over on the right. So we'll line up the inside, curving out and up towards the right, and we'll curl that back in towards the side of the head. We're going to draw a little swirl in here as well. So we're going to step down just on the side of the head, curving around, and we'll just swirl it back in like that. Now let's go ahead and draw on the outside of the hair. So just above the ear here, we're going to draw a curve that goes in towards this part here. But we're going to leave a little gap, curving in. We're going to curve the top of the head and come down on the side here. So from this point we're going to go up just along the center, gets a little bit wider, and we're just going to pull it down to right about there. Now we're going to curl around this point and then down towards the ear on top here. So 
curving around, and just pull that in behind the ear. Let's add some wrinkles in the forehead. So we're gonna follow this curve twice on the inside in the space right here. Starting above the eyebrow, we go up, down in the middle, up over the eyebrow, and then down again. We draw that again just above it. Right here, we're gonna go up, down, up, and then down. Now that we got the head, let's work our way down the body. I'm gonna have the arm stretched outwards. So we start with the top part of the arm first. So from the corner of this neck here, we're gonna curve out. Curving up and out towards the left. We're gonna do the same thing on the right. So taking this point of the neck, curving up and out towards the right. Let's go ahead and add in the cuffs of the sleeve. So from this point, I wanna curve in towards the right and then back towards the left. We're gonna do that same curve on the right side. Curving out towards the right and then back down. We're gonna take these points, curve in towards the body. So this point, I'm gonna make the arms go narrower as it comes in towards the body. So coming in to right about there, we'll do the same thing on the right, curving in to right there. We're going to add the inside edge of the jacket. So from the corner of the neck here, we're going to curve down and out towards the left. Curving down, and we'll just swoop it out towards the left. We'll do the opposite on the right side. So from this corner of the neck, curve down and out towards the right. We're going to connect these points to the bottoms of the arm. Starting on the left side, we're just going to curve down towards the bottom of the jacket. Do the same thing on the right side. Let's add the collar and the necktie. So right here in the center, we're gonna angle down and out towards the left, down and out towards the right. And to make a simple necktie, we're gonna step about halfway along this line and angle down and across. Do the same thing on the right. So starting up here, angle down and across. Now we connect those two points with a V along the bottom, just like that. Let's go back to the left side and add the hands. So we start with the cuff of the shirt first. So from this point, we're just gonna straighten out with a straight line, come down with a straight line, and then we're gonna come back in towards the cuff. Now this point here, we just wanna curve in the opposite direction, just in behind the shirt sleeve. Let's go ahead and add in the hands. So I'm gonna have the fingers sort of rolled up like this. So we start at the bottom of the sleeve, come down, we curve up, and then we're just gonna pull that down. We're gonna add the palm of the hand. So right here, we're gonna curve up, and aim towards this cuff right there. Let's add in there the fingers in this way. Starting about halfway down this finger, we're gonna curve down, up, and then just pull that in behind. We draw another one right here. It's almost like an oval. Curving down, up, and then down. Now for the back side of the hand, we're gonna start at the top of this finger, curving up. We're gonna add the thumb. So from here, we're gonna go up, and come down, and we're gonna pull that straight in towards the cuff sleeve. Let's do the same thing on the right side. We're gonna flip this over. Starting at the top here, we're gonna draw a straight line going out. We're gonna draw a straight line coming down. And I'm gonna pull that in behind the sleeve. Now we can add in the fingers. So from this corner, we're gonna come down. We're gonna go up. And we're just gonna pull that down. And we'll add in the palm. So we're just gonna curve in towards the sleeve. Now we're gonna layer in the fingers this way. Starting about halfway down this finger, curving around, almost like an oval, and pull that in behind. We'll do that one more time. Curving around and then up. Now about halfway along this finger, we're gonna curve back towards the thumb. We're gonna draw that little oval shape coming around for the thumb. And we'll pull that straight in towards the sleeve. Let's go back to the center of the body, right underneath the necktie. I'm gonna draw a curve for the top edge of the pants. And we're gonna add a little buckle here. So in the center, we're gonna step over towards the left, draw a straight line. Over towards the right, we'll draw a straight line. And we'll connect the bottom with a straight line going across. Now I just want to outline the inside with a little rectangle, like that. Now let's draw on the legs. So just below the buckle, we're going to draw a point like this. This is the inside part of the legs. So from here, I'm going to curve down and out towards the left. Now we're going to angle the legs this way slightly. So from this point, I'm going to curve down and just pull it down to the same height as we have on the left. We're going to round out the bottom of the pant. So a little curve going along both sides. Now from this point, I just want to pull it up towards this point of the belt. Curving down like that. We'll do the same curve going around this way. So underneath this jacket here, curve down and then out. Let's add in the feet. So from this point, from this point of the pant, we're going to step down and draw a little point. We want to draw a little swirl that comes down to the tip of the toe and then back up. So we're going to go out and then curl and pull that back up. Now here for the heel, we're going to draw a little triangle. Coming down, and then down towards the right. 
We'll connect it along the bottom. Let's color those two in black. Do the same thing with the heel. Now we're gonna take that shoe and flip it over on this side. So just below the inside of the leg, we're gonna step down and draw a point. And we're gonna curve down to the toe, round it out and back up again. Coming down and out, rounding it out and pulling it up. From that same starting point, we're gonna angle down toward the left, angle down and out towards the right, connecting the bottoms. Now we're gonna color those two shapes in black. And the same thing with the foot. One final thing I want to add is the elbow patch. So just at the bottom of this arm here, I'm going to draw a half circle. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Going up and then down. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Mr. Bean. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send us your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.